coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. That's when 10 grown men from across the street came heading our way. As one of them approached us, he shouted, Look at this fucking Nazi! He was referring to me. It's time we say it's not okay to stand by and watch as individuals are bullied and belittled because of the color of their skin or their country of origin, their gender identity, their religion, their sexuality, or their first language. Remarks such as this given by Swift Current City Councillor Ron Tolles set the tone for a noon hour rally in recognition of the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. RCMP are reminding you to be leery of any offers which either seem too good to be true or if there's a request for the payment of bills through the use of gift cards. Thanks for joining us here today. Standing up to racism was the focus of a special event hosted in downtown Swift Current. We have more in today's top story. It's time we say it's not okay to stand by and watch as individuals are bullied and belittled because of the color of their skin or their country of origin, their gender identity, their religion, their sexuality, or their first language. Remarks such as this given by Swift Current City Councillor Ron Tolles set the tone for a noon hour rally in recognition of the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. A crowd which gathered at Market Square included numerous residents, service groups and other stakeholders who came together to take a stand against racism locally and globally while pausing for a moment of silence to the most recent act of terrorism in New Zealand. A community event which the Swift Current Kiwanis Club wanted to be a part of as their members gathered in the crowd. And President Ray Friesen spoke of building a more welcoming community for all while addressing the issue of underlying racism in Swift Current. And I'm bold enough to say that I know I'm racist. That is, I grew up in a culture that unwittingly taught me racist attitudes. And all too often, I find within myself my first response may be racist. I think the difference between those who practice racism and those who don't is that those who don't are learning to discipline themselves and to make sure their initial reaction that comes out of a culture that taught racism is not the one that rules, but rather they've come to realize we're all friends, family, brothers and sisters. And stories of experiencing racism in Swift Current were shared at the podium. First by community representatives asked on behalf of victims uncomfortable in coming forward to the microphone. And the committee members arrived one by one. They all seemed to be looking around. One of the ladies approached me and said, I wonder how much drugs you were dealing to afford this house. At that moment, I felt a sharp pain in my stomach. I was so angry. I wanted to cry, to lash back at her. What compelled her to think that way? Did she think all immigrants had something to, to illegal to be able to afford a good life for our families? That comment has stuck with me and it still makes me feel sick. Sometimes we would talk in our mother tongue among ourselves, but to our surprise, some of the parents and even coaches would call our attention and tell us that we should only be talking in English. Emmanuel de Gala shared his own experience with racism, dating back to when he was a teenager skateboarding through downtown Swift Current with his friends. That's when 10 grown men from across the street came heading our way. As one of them approached us, he shouted, Look at this fucking Nazi! He was referring to me. He stopped just right beside me as he looked down with a smile on his face. I was a kid and wanted to fight. I knew this wasn't right, but I've never experienced this and I didn't, I didn't know what else to do but observe. I watched his friends who were enjoying the scene. Then I looked over to my friends who didn't seem to want any part of it. No one else was around. The man spoke again. What you gonna do, you fucking Nazi? I kept quiet. When he realized he couldn't provoke me, he walked away but screamed one last time. Go back to the Philippines, you fucking Nazi! And one more burst of laughter from his friends. Now, if you knew your history, you'd know that the Philippines were in the Allied forces. And if you didn't know which side the Nazis were in, then you should know that education is free in Canada. <laughs>
Now, several years later and having returned home from university, Emmanuel says he wanted to share his story with the crowd, as he feels silence is not the answer in addressing racism. I think we have a job to do because, you know, uh, people aren't uh, speaking out uh, and I, I do feel, you know, there's this responsibility that we have to uh, take ownership of. Uh, because if we want something to happen to uh, change, we have to do something. Uh, and if it's okay to be afraid, but you know that's what I feel like. That's what being uh, brave is about: uh, doing something even though you're scared. And as Swift Current's community becomes more diverse in the coming years, the goal of building a more inclusive and welcoming community is something the Southwest Newcomer Welcome Center. Hopes will spur discussions into the future, while bringing community members closer together. It's an everyday uh, struggle for a lot of immigrants to live through these things, right? So it's also an everyday uh, responsibility on us to keep rejecting this, to keep recognizing and rejecting racism in our community. And while the issue of racism in society will likely never go away, Quality. events such as the rally in Swift Quality Current in and the stories shared will hopefully leave bad. those in the crowd with the opportunity of taking a closer look at their own actions and words and how they choose to recognize racism and reject it. Starting next month, outdoor enthusiasts can once again book their favorite Saskatchewan campsite online. We find out more in this report. Another camping season is on the horizon, and Saskatchewan Parks is once again encouraging you to book your campsites online. A system which offers you the chance to select a spot with the simple click of your mouse. Being able to book ahead of time um, a camping spot, um, certainly that's the trend, We're not, not only within camping, but uh, other industries as well. So um, uh, for us, uh, it's been part of our core business since uh, 2012. You'll be asked to, you'll, you'll need to create a new account. Um, and then uh, essentially when you create the new account, uh, it's really in preparation for the reservation launches that begin on April 2nd. And for any outdoor enthusiast new to the camping experience, Saskatchewan Parks is once again offering the Camp Easy program. These Camp Easy sites come equipped with sleeping cots, camping stoves, lanterns, camping chairs and more. And all you need to do is bring the food and blankets and your cooking supplies. And the Mongolian style yurts offer you a more luxurious experience in the outdoors, complete with a queen size bed and an electric heater. Yeah, so our Mongolian yurt up in Great Blue Heron is uh, uh, an upgraded uh, yurt experience. So, I mean, uh, it is uh, a, um, at a different price point to our uh, sort of basic uh, camping yurt. So if you are looking for a, a little bit of uh, luxury away from home while you're, in one, uh, while you're at Great Blue Heron, um, yeah, our Mongolian yurt is uh, a great experience uh, for you and your family and friends. Gab Easy sites are available at eight locations from Blackstrap to the Saskatchewan Landing. For more information on booking a campsite or to find out more about the numerous activities offered at each location, log on to saskparks.com. With a variety of scams on the rise, RCMP are now advising you to be on the lookout for one involving gift cards. The potential for becoming a victim of fraud is on the rise. From fraudulent emails to telemarketing schemes, RCMP are reminding you to be leery of any offers which either seem too good to be true or if there is a request for the payment of bills through the use of gift cards. A scam which is now circulating and one which you should be aware of involves Google Play or iTunes cards. It's basically asking you, instead of doing a money transfer um, to pay for something or a deposit down on a product, they're asking you to purchase uh, gift cards and provide that information off the back of that card to them as a form of payment. That's a total Ill illegitimate means of uh, paying for any product 
um, nobody would do that legitimately. Gaming cards is another good example uh, that uh, you know they're they're sold so that you can access that game, or like you say Google Play, they're sold so that you can access that app or purchase music on iTunes or whatever you like. Um, so nobody's going to be able to reuse that for anything other than to sell it for profit. And a note of caution is also being directed towards retailers who suspect any fraudulent activities through large purchases of these types of cards. Um, that is a red flag. We, uh, we would be interested in knowing about it, especially like, say, if it's extreme amounts. Um, you know, two or three is not uh, an issue. A person could gift that easily. Um, but if someone's buying 10, 12, 20, 30, then it's, it should be a red flag that um, you should be aware of. At any given time, a variety of scams are circulating online, by telephone, and through social media. Therefore, if you have any concerns about potential fraud, contact your local RCMP. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.